you, Chiaotzu. Good thing you had those sensor beans on you. Sensu beans. Well, then it's time for me to conclude this battle, and you'll be reunited with your friends in one more painful moment. What? That's enough! Transformed? <laughs> no! What are you? You shut your mouth! With Piccolo dead, the Dragon Balls are gone. And Krillin, he's already been killed once and can never be revived again! I will never... Never forgive you for this! <laughs> A magical change of hair color doesn't undo the fact that I bore out class! We'll see about that. <laughs> Oh, now you've suddenly grown a spine. Every word that escapes your mouth infuriates me all the same. No, that would be impossible. There's no way. Those were just old stories. And even if they're true, only an elite warrior like myself can ascend to those heights. Not some fool like Kakarot. I'm the culmination of everything superior in the Saiyan race. It is my right to become the legendary Super Saiyan. never want to see you on this planet again. And I shall never forget this humiliation. My, my words, Kakarot. I too will surpass the limits of what a Saiyan can do. I'm sorry I can't go with you, but promise me you'll come back with the Dragon Balls, so we can wish back Mr. Piccolo and the others. You got it, Gohan. Wait! 
Wait! Please don't run away! Eek! It's okay. I'm not gonna eat you or anything. Huh? Hey! Who, who the hell are you? Are you with him? Those must be the Namekian Dragon Balls I saw on my radar. They're way huger than the ones on Earth. If you're after these, then you must be with him. Who's him? What do you mean? Get him! Are you blind? Take this! Vegeta! With Freeze out of the way, my fight is with you now, Kakarot! Now become a Super Saiyan immediately! What do you think, Kakarot? Now I too can transform into the legendary Super Saiyan! <laughs> oh, I see. This little guy's an Amekian. To bring everyone back to life, I have no choice but to take down Vegeta. What are you waiting for? Turn Super Saiyan! Or would you rather just lay down and die? <laughs> Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Indeed. For killing you in this state is the only way to reclaim my honor. I pushed myself to the verge of death to improve my strength. But despite my greatest efforts... I knew deep down that I still hadn't reached your level. But then, out of the endless rage invoked by the humiliation you left me after our last battle, I became a Super Saiyan and killed Freezer with my own two hands. So I thank you, Kakarot. Well, now that you've achieved this strength, what do you even need the Dragon Balls for? Why bother killing innocent people like the Namekians? Simple, because the universe has no room for the weak. So why don't you join me? Nothing. Be out of your grasp. What do you say, Kakarot? I have everything I could ever need, Vegeta. That's good. I'm not done yet. Got you. Now I'm mad. Yeah! Yeah! 
attack at all. Even as a Super Saiyan, I'm still inferior to this low-class clown. To truly be a Super Saiyan, you've got to be pure of heart, awakened by fury. That's what I am. Your rage alone helped you reach the transformation, but you still lack what it takes to unlock its real power. If you're taking your leave, you had better finish me off this time! Oh, I'm not killing you. And no, it's not to make you feel any sense of shame. What? It's because I want to fight with you again someday. So the next time you feel ready, you can bet I'll be ready too. Kakarot, you're a true Saiyan after all. Then the next time we cross paths, I'll be stronger. Strong enough to crush you once and for all! And so, Goku and Vegeta's Super Saiyan rematch comes to an end. Our hero looks on as his newfound rival takes his leave of planet Namek. Goku triumphantly returns home to Earth to celebrate with his family and friends. Their world now at peace. As Goku continues to improve himself, one must wonder how much stronger will he become? Only time and his next challenge will tell.